Hey guys, so I've got another first impressions. There's a lot of new products coming out. I'm very excited about them. And Tarte is following up their, uh, they've got their knockout treatment tingling toner. Uh, they've got a whole variety of products based off that product. And a new one is their knockout, uh, what do they call it? 10% acid complex. They also came out with uh, acid, acid wipes, like little, little jar of them, wipes, you know. Um, anyway, exfoliating pads. There you go. And so they came out with these two recently and I, this was the one that spoke to me. I'm always looking for a good, uh, resurfacing tr product, uh, kind of like this. Uh, what I like about it, let me talk about that first and I'll get to the negative. Uh, so we've got, I like the fact that they've got a couple different exfoliating acids. I've got glycolic acid and lactic acid, which are generally, I say kind of more towards drier skin types. Well, whereas like salicylic acid is more of an exfoliating ingredient, more towards oilier skin types or acne prone skin, but glycolic and lactic acid are two of the most proven exfoliating ingredients. So I've done a good job. We've got 10% of those two. They've got aloe in here to soothe, which is nice and squalane, which is very good to include some hydrating uh, ingredients in a good exfoliating uh, product. The one downside is grapefruit peel oil is in here, which I don't love. It's kind of irritating. It's a fragrance ingredient. Um, so typically it's not a good ingredient to add into um, an exfoliant or basically any product, but uh, here's what it looks like. It's just kind of a goopy liquid. And then I'm going to do a quick pH test, but it really works nicely on the skin, absorbs pretty quickly. It plays well with other products. Personally, I prefer to use this in my evening routine. Any exfoliants or retinols, I just like using at night. And in the morning, I focus on vitamin C and antioxidants. But anyway, so let me do a pH test for you guys, because I'm sure a lot of you are wondering that. And sometimes you just don't know, especially with brands that are more makeup focused. Can they do skincare? Sometimes you just don't know. But the good news is the pH for this one, let me get it closer there, looks to be like right around three and a half, which is probably right where you want it to be for exfoliating acids like glycolic and lactic acid. So I did a good job with the formulation. Uh, feels nice on skin. That grapefruit peel oil, you really can't smell it. So I don't even know why they included it. They could have left it out and made it a much better product. But anyway, it feels nice and hydrating. Uh, really doesn't dry skin out at all, but if you have very sensitive skin using exfoliants in high percentages, 10%, with things that can potentially irritate skin like grapefruit peel oil might not be the way to go. Paula's Choice has some great exfoliants with no fragrance in them, but overall this one has a lot that I like about it and really does leave skin feeling nice and youthful uh, in the morning when you wake up. So works nicely, doesn't pill. So, and I do like that they've got some skin soothing ingredients such as aloe and antioxidant squalane. They will left the grapefruit peel oil. They were really working on something that could be 10 stars, but that grapefruit peel oil is a bummer. But overall, this one has more to like about it than not to like. And the fact that it's pretty affordable, well packaged, and has a proper pH right off the bat. Most brands can't, well not most, a lot of brands can't even do that right. So they've done a lot of good with this one. So Certainly worth checking out unless you have very, very sensitive skin or don't prefer fragrances, which a lot of people don't. So anyway, those are my first impressions on this guy. I'll definitely do a full review soon. So anyway, I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to try this or the new peeling pads. Uh, leave a comment. I love hearing from you and stay tuned for more later. Thank you so much.